thanks for tuning in. Today I thought I'd do a video on all the gear that I took with me on my four day kayak trip uh, that you would have seen in my channel trailer video uh, that I released last week. Um, so I guess I'll break it down into two packs uh, that I took. Uh, one lived with me on the kayak, um, easily accessible things that I needed for lunch and day stops and all that sort of thing. Uh, and the second one was my main pack. So whenever we got into camp at the end of the day. Um, I would like to start off with my clothes. Um, I'll go over this really quickly. Basically, uh, board shorts, long sleeve collared shirt and an Akubra. So I wanted these to be quick dry so that um, at the end of the day we could hang them up and it would be nice and dry for us the next day. Uh, the next thing was um, sun protection. So obviously the wide brim of Akubra uh, as well as the long sleeve collared shirt. So um, summer's just finished, I think, not too long ago here in Australia and it is bloody hot and the sun is brutal. So uh, that was key, definitely needed, needed to be sun safe. Um, so I also had a bunch of loose equipment on my kayak um, just throughout the day. So yeah, I'll start off with these things first. So just a rope on the end so that whenever we um, pulled over to shore, uh, you could basically tie up the kayak and you wouldn't have to worry about pulling it up. Um, shovel. Uh, whenever nature calls. Um, won't go too much into this, but there were some toilets, uh, some drop toilets in the earlier camps, uh, but when we got up to the top of the river, where it's a bit more isolated, uh, you had to sort yourself out. So, um, Drinking, I had uh, my water bladder, just over two litres, um, as well as this litre uh, clean canteen bottle. So um, basically, yeah, these um, were used on the kayak for drinking all day. I'd filter my water into this, top up the bladder. Um, so that was a good little system there. I also had another litre in my main pack, which I tried to reserve for cooking uh, later in the night. So uh, this was just my snack bag, just a little Kathmandu dry bag. So uh, muesli bars, uh, jerky, trail mix, just the usual sort of stuff. Uh, this was sort of my go-to bag. This lived in the centre console of the kayak, just in between my legs, along with the, uh, the snack bag, bag there. So this was all just stuff that I needed to use on the kayak throughout the day. So um, yeah, basically compass. Um, it was is the river, so easy to navigate, but it was handy to, to know which part of the river you were on. Um, sunscreen and insect repellent. Again, sunscreen, it was brutal. Uh, lots of mozzies that, in parts. There were quite quite a few little mangrovey areas. So, um, little fishing kit, um, pliers, little filleting knife. Um, to be honest, didn't catch any fish. I was I was fishing for Australian bass, but no luck. Um, this was the kit that I took with me. Um, a few few divers, a couple of surface lures, a bit of trace. I did exclusively use this little cicada. I heard that they're pretty good in the area, um, but didn't have any luck. So uh, maybe next time I'll be a bit more versatile in what I do and I might have a little bit, little bit more luck. Um, yep, fishing rod, simple, just a Shimano uh, rod and reel. Um, just the smallest, smallest kit that I could find in my setup. Um, this was the dry bag for whenever we had day stops. So um, just an Adventure Kings uh, heavy duty bag. Um, nice and cheap, but it does the job. Uh, I do, I'll also say I do have these carabiners on both of my dry bags. Uh, I like to use these so that when you um, clip, clip the dry bag together once it's rolled up. If this does come undone, it's still going to stay attached and you're not going to wet all of your gear. So uh, it also helps to clip on the kayak as well so that if it does fall off, you don't lose it and have to uh, backtrack and find your gear halfway down the river. Um, so yeah, I'll just tip all this out. Uh, first, my so a squeeze, a mini squeeze I think it is, just for water filtration. Um, my mate did have a UV filter and some tablets as well, so between us we had plenty of, plenty of stuff. So that was good, that was handy. Food pouch, um, this was full completely. Uh, just had muesli for breakfast. Um, 
uh, snacks and all that sort of thing during the day. So just like I said, in my snack bag, uh, and then dehydrated meals uh, for, for dinner. Um, head torch, kept this in my day bag, um, just in case we got into camp late. Uh, this is my first aid pouch and my cook kit. So um, I'll put this aside. Won't go over this in too much detail but quite extensive. I was the only one who bought the first aid kit, so I wanted to make sure that it um, had everything we needed in it. So just, you know, tablets, various tablets, um, band-aids, all fiddly things, spare TP, a bunch of stuff in there. Uh, some tea tree oil comes in really handy for bites and stings. Plenty of stuff that'll do that to you here. Antiseptic cream, bandages. Uh, I will say antihistamines, uh, definitely, a valuable thing to have. I brushed against some sort of bush, don't know what it was um, or when it was, but got a bit of a rash um, just sort of around my, around my neck and my shoulder. Not very comfortable, um, especially with all the sunscreen and, uh, and sweat, you know, in the sun. So I uh, had one of them and within an hour it was gone. So uh, this is my cook kit. Love this thing. It's just a cheap eBay, eBay pouch. Um, but I love it, it fits all of my, all my cook kit in there. So you just pull this out, you've got everything you need, basically. Um, so I'll start off in the front pouch. I've got my 360 degree uh, stove, uh, knife, fork, spoon, pot grippers. These are very handy. Um, I've got my little uh, pot hanger, but didn't, couldn't use that because I didn't have a fire because it was a national park. Just a lighter and a fire steel. Um, and then I just keep a little silica gel um, pack in here just to try and keep the lighter as dry as possible, just in case some moisture gets in there. Um, and then, just sit this back up. And then the main compartment has my little gas canister, uh, Pathfinder canteen. <clears throat> with the matching cup and lid. So basically this is, love this system, all my cooking water stayed in here. Just slides in like that. Essentially takes up only the room that the bottle does. So a uh, 750 ml cup, litre bottle, um, all just fits in here. Nice and easy and compact. It's as if it's made for it. Um, it's not, obviously, like I said, it's a, cheap eBay job, but I think Pathfinder do make something similar for their, for their kits. So. Uh, so next is my main pack that I took with me. So uh, this, my main pack, which is like a, a military style sort of hiking backpack, uh, it's a 60 litre pack. It just slid into this 65 litre Cedar Summit uh, Big River dry bag. So again, just like the Kings one, nice and durable. Um, and that just sat on the back of my kayak. Uh, I'll just say quickly, in the bottom, uh, these boots, just some blundstone, they're not steel cap or anything. Um, they just sat in the bottom just for when I got into camp. Uh, there's nothing like having a um, nice dry pair of feet, nice dry clean pair of feet when you, um, when you get into camp, so. Uh, yeah, this is my pack. So it's a Wii Sport Crafter. Um, I think it's like a Polish brand or something like that. Uh, this thing is awesome. Uh, first time I used it on this trip. Um, it's got plenty of pockets up the top in this top section. The lid sort of folds off and then as you can see, it's got this big opening at the front here. So um, I, I chose this pack specifically for this opening um, as well as this webbing on the front. Um, so basically when you just want to get something out of your pack, you don't need to open up the top, rummage through, pull everything out. Um, you can just open it up, pick what you need, and you don't disturb um, how everything's packed. Uh, it's also got all these straps on the side where you can really cinch it down, which did help a lot with getting it in that yellow uh, dry bag. Um, so that was quite handy. Uh, but yeah, I might open this up. Um, oh, and yeah, the, I'll start from here first. A uh, bit of paracord. Um, we use this to string up our clothes um, from the from the day so just to, to dry it out overnight so that we had some dry clothes in the morning um, and plus it's just handy to have paracord 
Uh, this is some rope with some little uh, pressing knots tied onto it. Uh, I use this for my ridge line for my three by three meter Alton Goods tarp. So uh, I'll get right into this. I might grab this GoPro and um, hopefully this is picking it up and just yeah show you a good shot of this. So yeah, they just come undone and then this just, like I said, opens up like so. So everything is in there. If you want to just do hammock at lunchtime or something to have a chill, you just pull that out, good to go. Um, it's also got this pocket here at the front. Um, I kept in here my, I'll just clip this back. <clears throat> um, this was just my uh, sort of wet pouch. So things like steel wool, tea towel, uh, toilet paper, hand sanitizer, toothbrush, all that sort of thing. So that's, that's that there. Nice and easily accessible. Uh, so, start off with my hammock, Alton Goods. All my sleep system is uh, Alton Goods. So the hammock and the fly. Um, when I bought these, I was a little bit skeptical about the fly and the hammock being separate uh, and not sewn together. But now that I've actually used it a few times, I absolutely love it. Uh, it means that you can set your hammock up, your tarp, all that sort of thing, and just chill in your hammock without having to worry about having a fly sort of in your face and disturbing your view. So you can still set this up. Um, I'll, I'll put some clips up. Uh, you can set this up and sort of pull it back along the ridge line so it just sits out of the way. And then when you're ready to go to sleep, um, you pull it back over. Uh, another thing I really like about this, because it is separate, the, uh, the fly sort of hangs below the hammock which creates for a bit of cargo storage, I guess. So when you go to sleep, um, you can put your boots, your drink bottle, if you're having a read of a book and then you fall asleep, you can just chuck it under and it means that it's not, um, it's all under your tarp, it's lifted off the ground. You're not gonna get any spiders or anything crawling in your boots. Um, so yeah, really like this system. Um, it also, also bought the Al Alton Goods 3 by three meter tarp. Um, this is awesome. It's got so many, uh, so many loops, so you can have pretty much any tarp structure you could imagine. Um, every night I was there, I had a different setup with my tarp. So it was just really good experimenting with that. Um, lots of fun. Uh, it does come with these little uh, pegs as well. It comes with eight of them, but I only bought along four. So yeah, really lightweight. I think they're aluminium. Uh, keep other things like some lightweight uh, line that same material as this. I can't remember what it's called exactly. Super durable and lightweight though. Um, yeah, little ridge line for there, some paracord, some carabiners. Uh, one thing I like to do with the carabiners, I use them as uh, my toggles for my pressing knots when I uh, string up my tarp. So use this as the toggle sort of hangs down like this, and then you can clip your bag in and, or, you know, whatever, a pouch or a dry bag or something, anything that you want to keep off the ground overnight, and it just hangs there. So a bit of a dual purpose thing there. Um, that is that. Uh, quickly, just my little Cedar Summit Aeros pillow, premium, large one, uh, super lightweight, small, I wouldn't leave without this. It takes up no room, so, uh, and it just makes you sleep that much better. Uh, this is my, I think it's from BTF. It's just a cheap, um, I guess it's their home brand, Wanderer, I think is the, yeah, Wanderer. Um, zero degrees, it's just a bit bulky for my liking, to be honest, like when it's not cinched down like so. Um, yeah, it's quite big, but I guess, yeah, something I need to think about. That might be my next big purchase, getting a nice, nice, good quality compact sleeping bag. Oh, one thing I forgot, these are the straps for my Alton Goods hammock. Uh, yes, they are a little bit bulky, but they are awesome. They're really long. They've got heaps of loops on them. If there's a big span between trees or a big tree that you need to wrap around, uh, you still have a bunch of um, uh, cord left, uh, strap left, sorry. Um, so yeah, really good. They, they do have some more lightweight 
options, but I chose to go with this because it, I do a lot of car camping as well, so not too concerned about weight. Um, oh yeah, little titanium bowl, uh, snow peak or something, I think. Uh, it's, I was gonna use this to cook up my fish, but I didn't catch any, like I said, so it does have a good lip on it, so I used it to eat my muesli and stuff in the morning, so it doubles as a bit of a bowl. Uh, I mean, I don't have to get my, my cup dirty, so that worked out really well. Takes up, it's super light. Um, this is my clothes bag. I'll just put this aside for now, just until I finish this. Uh, this is my camera stuff and I guess electronics. I've just got a couple of GoPro battery spares in here because uh, this the trailer that you would have seen um, filmed it all on my GoPro as well as my phone. So super lightweight setup. Um, this has just got, yeah, like I said, GoPro batteries, battery bank, uh, all the cables I need, a uh, little lens cloth, just stuff like that. Handy electronics things. It could be a lighter weight pouch, but I just pulled this straight out of my camera bag. So um, yeah, so on the lid, it does have a little mesh top here. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I usually keep my phone and keys and stuff like that in there. Um, little pocket on the top here, didn't use that for anything. I guess that would be good for, you know, instead of the red thing, little red dry bag. Uh, if you're on a hiking trip, that's where your snacks would go in there. So easily accessible. This, um, again, has all the stuff that I'd sort of pull out when I got to camp uh, or just needed to get to. Um, I'll put this aside for now as well. So this is a little backup pouch, I guess. So it's got um, just a Burt's Bees lip balm, waterproof matches, uh, LED lens, a really bright torch as a backup to my head torch, a battery for my head torch and a battery for this torch. So that's in a little waterproof bag. Um, this I didn't use at all. I was in a national park, so I couldn't go chopping up wood or anything like that. Um, it's just a cheap folding saw. Um, we were pretty isolated, so I thought, why not? I've, I'm not worried about weight, like I said, and just in case. Um, this is my custom made core knife and tool um, bushcraft knife. I absolutely love this thing. I bought this a couple of months ago and it is, it's, a, it's a work of art. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I'll put up some nice close up clips of it, but yeah, I'll, I'll put the link in the description as well. If you're in the market for a bushcraft knife, get it from court. Like I'm, I'm speechless. I absolutely, like I said, I love this thing. It's, it's amazing. Um, yeah. Anyway, I could talk all day about that. So this is my clothes bag. Uh, just another dry bag. Probably went a little overboard on some things. Um, but oh, well, like I said, not worried about weight. So starters, waterproof shell, Kathmandu, uh, this is a down jacket, just a light one. Uh, slept in this most nights because hammock camping does get a little bit cold. Um, two woolen socks, just had a main and a backup in case one got wet. Um, T-shirt, nothing better than getting out of the long sleeve shirt, washing all the sunscreen off you and getting into a T-shirt. Underwear, uh, shorts, hiking shorts, use these for chilling around camp. Um, I think next time I would wear these on the kayak and actually bring the zip offs for these so that if it did get quite sunny, so like I said, uh, covered up with the long sleeves and the collar and the hat, it would have been good to have some lightweight long shorts to cover up the legs as well. So I think next time I'll, I'll wear these on the kayak and have a pair of shorts for camp. A uh, little lightweight belt that came with the hiking pants and then, yeah, just some Target heavy duty sort of cargo short, uh, cargo longs that I slept in most nights. Um, I would like a pair of four ravens or something with the zip offs. Uh, that way I wouldn't need to bring a pair of shorts as well, but you know, I don't have 300 bucks to spend on pants. So target pants it is for now. Yeah. So now I think I'll just go over the equipment that I wish I did have on the trip that I sort of thought of while I was there. Um, and I'll definitely be bringing next time. So, uh, like I said, first thing would be the, the shorts slash pants. So got them here, just the zip offs. Um, 
it's, that's, it's not much to be honest. Um, a flask, hip flask. Uh, we did take some beers, uh, they are quite bulky. So yeah, a flask would be quite handy. Just have some whiskey at night. Um, definitely more bang for your buck. So uh, I didn't bring this because it leaks, unfortunately. So I just, I need to get a new one. Um, uh, lastly, a little multi-tool. Um, it means that I could get rid of the pliers in my fishing kit and just use these. And then it has multiple purposes. So. Uh, yeah, we were on kayaks, so a few screws did come loose over time. Uh, I think it, to be honest, happened in transport uh, on the car. So yeah, it would have been good just to be able to tighten them up as well as like tripods and all that sort of thing. Um, another thing that I did bring that I'm currently filming with now is a little tripod uh, that has a phone mount on it for my phone. Uh, and also this, uh, this GoPro. So I bought the GoPro with this little gooseneck thing. Um, it has this clamp on it. So basically I attached this onto the kayak with a little GoPro mount. That's how I got some good shots uh, of that. You can sort of just put it anywhere you like. And this was very valuable because I could just clamp this onto a tree or something and get a time lapse or whatever. So, uh, yeah. So yeah, that's all my equipment. Um, as I said, as I keep saying, I uh, was not concerned about weight at all. There were definitely a few luxuries in there, but to be honest, I did use it all. So, um, I mean, any feedback, uh, any suggestions or gear recommendations you guys have, I'd be really interested to hear. Uh, as you can tell, I love gear, love watching gear videos myself. Um, so yeah, would be definitely keen on hearing your feedback. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Um, I guess I'll see you on the next one.